Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ixion. We're still in the sector where the Etamanenki met its demise in the form of the Piranesi. I'm going through the last couple of science projects that we have here, and one that we still had standing was the sphere. This mysterious sphere that we found on P43. I completed the research that will allow my science ship to come home if the last crew member dies, that's Antonius, so I can now tell him to start excavating this sphere and seeing exactly what is up with that. We've encountered one of these things before, and back then it didn't go that well. Back then we lost the whole crew, we lost the science ship, and it didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's put it that way. So how well one lonely scientist is going to do on this seemingly rather dangerous encounter, that remains to be seen. Now, as all of my ships continue to harvest resources from, uh, well, whatever I can find, I'm also upgrading more and more and more on Sector 3 so I can house more of the new crew. We still need to expand it by about 1,100 people, so making sure that we have enough habitable spaces there and, of course, increasing food production is going to be key. Now, here we go. <clears throat> this is Antonius. I've transmitted the results of my analysis. The sphere repels everything, except for me. It speaks to me, invites me. I have pre-recorded this message, and when you receive it, I will have made contact with the sphere. We will find ourselves, Administrator. We will all meet again. Antonius signing off. So that's the last member of my uh, science team there dead. But I did get 60 signs out of it. Now, thanks to this little bit of research that I did, I can repatriate the Heisenberg. So the ship's coming home, uh, remotely piloted, but no survivors. This is not really going to have a beneficial effect on my crew, but at the very least I'll be able to use the science ship to start getting 60 science out of that. And of course, we'll remember Antonius, we'll remember his sacrifice, because, uh, well, he died very bravely, and sadly, it's another group of scientists, another group of pioneers, who will not be returning to the Tycoon. Now let's have a look at what's happening on Croc P41. It's a telluric planet with a small quantity of water, present as ice. There are many large black telluric formations across its surface. The atmosphere is heavy with cloud cover and storms envelop the planet, scouring it with solid aluminum rain. Eden has noted a formation of particular interest. The Heisenberg has landed near Site 1, they should be protected from the aluminum rain here. We, ha sorry, Site 0. We've uh, located the formation of unknown origin or commencing exploration of the site. Off you go. Let's see what we can find there. And in the meanwhile, I am working hard to keep the people here in Sector 3 happy. Which is not easy, because there is a massive amount of people living here now. This is by far my largest sector. Because I'm starting to relocate people from other sectors here. So I've got 1,500 people living in this sector alone. And with the current standing, I don't have enough houses for them. So I'm upgrading as many of my uh, optimized quarters to Demotics. I know you have the option to go with cell housing. It's just one that I don't find particularly appealing. Because I believe it's going to be a minus to stability. Which you might be able to offset by having a bunch more of these uh, higher class or higher standard of living quarters. It's just not really something I want to go for if I don't strictly have to. A science ship team has okay, Croc P41. The Tuller formation is circular in shape and has steep sides. They've begun mapping the numerous tunnels that lead inside it. Initial reports suggest that these were not created by natural phenomenon but dug intentionally. Continued behavior analysis of the team is registering breaches of Dola safety protocol as well as metaphysical and psychological aberrations. Oh, great. One crew member appears to have removed their protective helmets, convinced that the air in the tunnels was breathable. Accounting for P-41's atmosphere, their remaining lifespan is estimated to be 37 minutes. Yikes. Um... It looks like it's a really bad day for my science ships. Well, <laughs> a really bad episode, most like, because at this rate, my science teams just keep dying very, very, very quickly. 
Um, I think if I can do something to help the science ships, that might be useful. Now, I have all sorts of upgrades for them, such as exoskeletons, which I never had the use for. Uh, emergency cryopods might be useful, because this will allow them to survive certain situations, although the game doesn't exactly specify what situations those are. So exactly how much is going to be saved, or how many people are going to be saved, I don't know. Now, um, I'm going to continue exploration of the formation, but I'm going to strictly monitor my crew. I don't want to lose anyone else. And the rate at which I'm losing these people is rather concerning. So I better make sure that they have a greater chance of survival. And people just removing their helmets in the middle of a very toxic atmosphere. Generally not great for your health. Now, let's get this building sorted. Uh, I have also built the Genetic Canatus Memorial, which does give this whole sector one more stability. And you can upgrade this as well. Um, this is going to provide a stability bonus to a Marduk Memorial and Tier 1 Industry Specialization. So, a Tier 1 Industry Specialization is something that I have achieved in Sector 1. Or at least, I, have, I believe I have that particular type of specialty, yeah. So if I can put up the Marduk Memorial here, I should get another stability bonus. But these guys are already happy, so I don't strictly need that. What I can do is remove a couple more building blocks, housing blocks, because I have a lot more housing than I have population. So slowly but slowly, <laughs> well, very slowly but steadily, I can start to kick people out of these fairly standard uh, and generally quite bad housing quarters and move them into more fancy residences, such as the Demotic Quarters. Alright, Kruk P41, tell me what's up. How are the things going here? I have the Emergency Cryopod, so that's a nice upgrade to get. For those concerned, I have all the upgrades to counter the effects of the Piranesi, so I got the Hacking Threat Analysis, Missile Threat Analysis, and Drone Threat. And I have also built the accompanying structure slash upgrades to the station. And I hope that with this, I stand at least some chance of dealing with the Piranesi. But seeing how the Etamananki got utterly and completely mauled by that thing, I'm not extremely, um, I'm not extremely hopeful. Okay. Thanks to intensive psychological and medical follow-up, the Heisenberg team was able to conduct, or sorry, conclude the study. Solid aluminum particles carried by the winds of P-41 created a network of tunnels. The erosive process has transformed the topography of the planet. When the particles collide with each other inside the tunnels, their reverberation generates a low-frequency vibration. When this passes through the inner ear, it alters human neural activity. So that's what made these things, or what made my crew go bananas. We're gonna leave this place, I don't want to override security protocols. And I don't think I can get a whole lot more off of this planet. So let's just get the science team back safely. And send them out to Kruk P-51. Which still has to get done. I'm still in the process of shipping over all the gear that I need over there. For Kruk 42's um, colonies. And I hope to have that completed within the next couple of cycles. Okay. Heisenberg. New objective. Go to P-51. We got another 89 science. The research to help... That's generally not good. Uh, this thing is on fire. Yes. I will build a fire station. <clears throat> Where, though? Maintenance. Fire station. These things take up a lot of space. And in such a... <laughs> Their orientation is such that it's going to be making it quite difficult to make these things feasible. So let's delete this. Can I put a science or a fire station there? Yeah, exactly. So demolishing this is now a high priority. Can I still stash? Yeah, I should be able to stash all the materials from that. Come on. Fine, I'll temporarily build another storage. Just a small one then. Another stockpile somewhere. Yeah, 
whatever. Um, I think the whole tycoon is completely filled with alloys. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix this quickly. There's a fire aboard your station. Slash ship. There we go. It's getting out of hand. Hi, Pryo. This needs to get destroyed right away. And we need to get a fire station. Go on. Take it down. Thank you. Build a fire station. High priority. Get it done now. Because I don't like the way that everything is burning. Especially the mess hole. This is bad news. Come on. Get the mech over there. We'll build this thing. Faster. Oh. <laughs> And of course, now the fire's out. Lovely. Sector 3 is having housing issues again. We'll deal with that in a minute. Let's start with Croc P51. Our probe has registered some interesting environmental data on P51. Primary analysis revealed conditions similar to those found on a terrestrial seabed. These conditions may prove conductive to the existence of life. The crew of the P... Uh, the, sorry, the crew of the Heisenberg says that the atmosphere has an extremely high gas concentration. We're navigating through an almost semi-liquid environment. The tremendous pressure it's putting is putting the resistance of our suits to the test. Having reached the core, we're preparing to sortie out towards what appears to be a collection of geysers. Yeah, that sounds safe. The area that provided the environmental data. Uh, let's set up an advanced analysis infrastructure. Going to be executed by the Pandora. Another way to at least get some alloys off of the Tycoon, because right now I think this massive amount of storage that I have is doing more harm than good. Let me guess, this is open road? Yeah. That's the waste treatment center. Bloody hell, getting everything organized here is going to be such a mess. Hmm. Oh well, so be it. Sector 3, housing looks to be decent now. 1638 for 1611, still not stellar, but it's getting there. Let's build a couple more of these fancy housing blocks. And I think... Yeah, the only real thing I can put over there is a road. So, let's do that. Easy access. We're going to start shipping stuff here. We're going to start shipping our colonies or colonists eventually. Yep, everything's going according to plan. A while later, we have more science coming up. P51. We have discovered unusual bacteriological formations in the geysers of P51. The bacteria are not only capable of arranging amino acids, but by utilizing geyser emissions as binding agents, they restructure mineral deposits and carve out basins around the geysers. Further groups of bacteria were found within these basins. We have named the bacteria Myers and would like to carry out further behavioral analysis. So that's more science. I would definitely like another bit of testing done. As they're working on that, we have set up the colony on P42. Took me way longer than before, but hey, we have finally got another colonization test on the road. This is going to slowly but steadily generate more science, so I'm going to keep the scope over there, my science ship in orbit. And that'll very, there you go, that'll very slowly but steadily generate more science. When it comes to my colonists, I currently don't have a lot. Most are on that colony operation that I have going on. So let's just automatically train a whole bunch more colonists, because eventually we're going to have to vacate the Tycoon. At the end of the road, I suspect we're going to be making landfall. Ideally on Remus, but if that's not in the cards, then somewhere else. Aboard the Tycoon, Sector 1 has been getting a bit of a remake. Sector 1 now has two polymer refineries, because one simply wasn't cutting it anymore. And you can see that I have a ton of polymers, and there's still a lot more carbon to be picked up. Or well, a lot of carbon. Well, yeah, there is a lot of carbon to be picked up. Uh, I'm just not actually doing it at the moment. What this means for Sector 1 is that it no longer has a docking bay. Now, the docking bays here, or at least the space for docking bays, are completely full. 
There's no way to set up another airlock. And over here, you got that Sector 6 marker. Uh, you cannot build over that either. This site on the, the other side is also completely full. <clears throat> I can still upgrade some stuff here. This is going to increase con um, <clears throat> construction speed. Construction speed again. More construction speed. And the plasma cutter is going to increase repair efficiency. So what I'm thinking of doing is just getting this one. And uh, demolishing one of my EVA airlocks. I believe two EVA airlocks can do the job just fine. Which would allow me to set up yet another docking bay. And with that, I can put three more cargo ships to work. Right now, I don't have enough cargo bays. So it is going to be fairly imperative to get three more cargo ships out there. Considering the massive amount of resources and people, cryopods, that are still out there available for pickup. Now, let's get the science from P-51, because this event is complete. I still have a bunch I still want to research, so don't worry about the amount of science, because the game has a ton of upgrades, a ton of science, a ton of things to get. It seems like there's no shortage of resources that you can pump into stuff. So, let's get this one dismantled. And if it turns out that this is not enough, I can also just activate another sector. I have plenty of resources for that, and plenty of workers. And I might need to have another sort of semi-general area where I can get a bit of work done. Uh, we're going to go for a docking bay set up over there. And assigning here will be three of the cargo ships that I currently have stored. Alright, P-51. The, major, uh, sorry, the majority of Meyer bacteria live inside a geyser's tube. Smaller groups do exist externally that appear to have been excluded. They got a whole social system. Samples from within the geysers reveal an organized society that is not only able to propagate other types of bacteria, but also use what can only be described as tools, exchanged via vesicular transfer. We theorized a bacteriological language and, with the help of the PA, sent a message to the colony through the appropriate stimuli. They responded. The colony has proposed to follow us on an expedition to the tycoon. This will be a monumental undertaking as a single human cycle corresponds to several hundred of theirs. We've determined that the best way of transporting the bacteria will be to settle a small colony within the respiratory tract of one of the crew. Good luck. Perhaps an extreme method, but it will provide the ideal conditions for the bacteria. An intelligent and aware species. This will surely open the way from, for new perspectives. Ooh, I'm not sure this is a good idea. Um, I'm going to do a preliminary save here, simply because I don't exactly know what's going to happen. And if this turns out to be the source of the destruction of the tycoon, then I can always revert. I'm not sure it's going to be a good idea. To bring out all of these new bacteria. I mean, I don't know their intent. I mean, they are ascension species. They seem to have intelligence of some sort. So, I have to treat them as a potential foe. I don't know how or what they're going to be doing. Okay, all bacteria board the transport, i.e. board the human. And let's see if we can go and get these guys over to our tycoon. This is going to take them a long time. Ah, there you go. Six is now space rank two again. That is excellent. 30% loading, 30% faster assembly. Perfect. I lost the prerogative or the, the, the privilege of this because I took down one of the EVAs. But that's no longer the case. Um, we have a couple of unassigned ships, I believe. Yep, the Gring Horny. One of our really quite old ships. Uh, Pandora, I believe, is not actually doing anything. And we have... No, not you. This one. If I'm not mistaken. Pushpaka Vimani. Check, check, check. No. Which one's unassigned? Which one doesn't have a number? Everybody has a number. Do I maybe not have enough ships? Because I got 
Uh, three, 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 two. Oh, my science ship doesn't live anywhere. That's the deal. Um... No, it does. The Heisenberg lives over there. Okay, never mind then. It's fine. It's fine. We're immediately going to be getting a ton of new resources, so I better make sure my storage in the sector is up to snuff, but that doesn't strictly have to get done during uh, this particular cycle. Let's see. P-51. What? Final report of the Heisenberg. This is Egon, Kabir, Celian, Fania, and Bertha are dead. The Heisenberg has been critically damaged. I'm engaging emergency cryonic protocols now. If you're hearing this, please send help immediately. End of communication. Four crew members were killed. Uh, the Heisenberg's been destroyed. Trust penalty minus five. One cryopod ready for extraction. I did get 20 science. So, this whole bacteria thing... Didn't exactly turn out as well as I hoped. I didn't lose anyone over it, but this is not pretty. This is not what I was exactly going for. Uh, you, my friend, are going to pick up cryopods, because we still got a lot of those to get. And hull integrity is dropping somewhat. But it should be fine. How are we not getting the hull fixed? Is that because these two bays simply don't do enough? Between the two of them, they can't fix it? That is interesting. And worrying. Because it means I'm going to have to open up another sector pretty quick. And make sure that I have another EVA. Because without that, the Tycoon will slowly, but surely, start falling apart. So, let's ship out all the resources. Open up this sector. And we're going to get Sector 5. Here come all the cryopods. 6 is 8 bit unhappy. Uh, negative. Propaganda is good. But... Working conditions and overwork. Right. So we need to get more workers out here. We got... A minus 40 when it comes to workers. Um... Yeah. Problematic is that I don't have additional workers coming out of the cryopods at the moment. But I can still transfer about 20, 25 people from this sector, so from 3 to 6. It's not enough, but it should alleviate this at least a little bit. And the 40 additional workers over here are going to have a lot of work ahead of them. Because we need to get that EVA uh, thing going right away. Otherwise, the ship will fall apart. Always an interesting time on the Tycoon. Here we go. <clears throat> this is going to take a bit of organizing. Critically, you're going to have to have a workshop. You're going to have to have a mess hall. And you're going to have to have a bit of storage and a bit of food storage. There. Built that. Get the road operational. And ideally, get working on another EVA airlock right away. So we're going to have to clear up some stuff, and I'll be doing that off-screen. After a while, we have recovered Egon Alderman's cryopod. This is the guy who was probably the source slash host of that bacterial group. I'm not sure if this guy is going to be safe to open. I can destroy the cryopod altogether, or I can carefully study him. Um, I'm going to remove this guy because I really do not want any kind of fallout slash epidemic from this whole situation. And the way that things are going, <laughs> I don't need any more stability issues. Uh, what I do need is another high priority situation going on here. But my only mech on this new sector is a bit busy. So this is going to have to probably get built fast. And making sure that I can keep the Tycoon intact. In the meanwhile, the colony is still going strong. We're still getting a nice amount of science there. So let's see what other science projects would be nice to have. I already have the drone bay. I do not yet have the train station. Um, this could be an interesting building to go for. Especially in tandem with the health center. And this is going to take me 81. This is going to take me another 71. So let's get working on the train station. Whether I'll need to build that in every single sector, um, I suspect so. 
which will make it potentially a bit more difficult to get that whole thing complete. Simply because it's going to be taking up some additional space that I might not easily have available. Oh crap, this isn't exactly connected. Okay, fine. That's why this isn't getting built, and that's why we still have hull issues. Oh well, we're just shy. But of course the crew isn't going to like that the tycoon is falling apart. And if this drops too low, they're potentially going to cause all sorts of issues for me. They also want to have a bit of habitable space, which I can respect. I'm first going to set up my storages over there in 5 and then make sure I have a bit of living space uh, where convenient. I also want to set up my other facilities. Of course, I want to have the policy center. I mean, you gotta get all the kind of the basic necessities of a sector like this going as quickly as you can. Now, I'm gonna wait for uh, the cryopods to get finished. I'm going to wait for the colony to get finished. And I think then it is just about time to start jumping with the tycoon onto another sector and onto new adventures. So, I'll see you there in a minute or two. A few more cycles later. And we have completed the objective. We've dethought or unthought, thought out, whatever. <laughs> We've unfrozen a whole bunch of people. 2,000 population to be in fact, or to be exact. So we now have a population of 3,211. Incoming transmission. Is ready to perform a vol jump on your order. Where to? New objective. Brace yourselves. Vol jump to your next destination. Yes. But, I still have quite a lot of resources I want to pick up. Because I have been going through my silicon and notably my electronics very quickly lately. Why? Well, I've been upgrading my solar panels. I have been getting more and more and more housing blocks. And, of course, I've had to finally build the trains. These trains run on a little bit of alloys and they also take a little bit of electronics to build. To finally have a good medical facility, I have built the health center. This works in tandem with the trains, and this one makes sure that people can get medical assistance from any sector, as long as it has a train station. So you gotta be able to invest in this, and then you gotta be able to invest in this, and these things do not come cheap. These things do not come cheap, they take nine electronics, so that kind of wiped me out badly. And then on top of that, there are fires happening basically every week. So between the fires, between having to repair, potentially to rebuild some of the buildings, um, a lot has been going into electronics. Now, the new sector is coming along quite nicely. I am working on a fire station here. We have a demotics quarter. And as you can see, the fire station is not a moment too soon, because immediately we have another fire going on. So let's make sure this gets built very quickly before these fires rage out of control. I do not want this to spread to my food supply. Uh, I have a lot of food and I think I'm still doing reasonably well there. But with this massive increase in population, it's definitely something I'm going to want to look into. So let's get, uh, let's say another couple hundred silicon. And this is kind of the trap of this game. You can spend a lot of time in these sectors. You can still see there's a ton of resources here. There's a ton of resources there. But I'm also very eager to just jump. Just move on. Because I believe I've done so much in this sector already. But if I jump too soon... Well... I don't know what I'm going to be facing. I know this is a lush landscape. Filled with resources. I do not know if the same can be said for the next sector. Speaking of, I want to have um, another probe launcher, maybe even two, because I've seen that a probe launcher, uh, sorry, this is the probe launcher here, and I also build missile countermeasures. Counters the effective use of Piranesi missiles. So I want to have one, potentially more of these ready to counter the Piranesi if and when we encounter it. I'm expecting a when, not an if. And it's going to be really bad for the Tycoon if we get hit by a bunch of missiles. So, a bit of prep to be done, and then we can get going. Alright, here we go. 
It cycles 1,757. Um, while there still are materials to mine here, I'm just going to go. I'm excited to get to the next sector. I want to see where this story takes us. It's going to take half a cycle to charge. That's perfectly fine. Let's go. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Everybody back. Make it quick. We got places to be. Yes. Full jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. Expected irreversible damage to the Tycoon detected. Calculations indicate the system's pulsar is dormant. Sensors have located the Piranesi, currently powered down. You must find a way to retrieve the Remus coordinates from it. Act with extreme caution, Administrator. That does not fill me with confidence about what's about to happen. <clears throat> Where? Where? Here's the Piranesi. We don't know shit about this thing. So that's going to be the job for next episode. Exploring the uh, PSR B1257 plus 12H. Go for the Pulsar, go for the Piranesi, and see if we can make it out of this place alive. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching. See you soon for the next encounter. Potentially one with the Piranesi. See you then.